channel. Today I've done a very simple everyday makeup look for you to follow. It took me less than 10 minutes so this is dedicated to all you beautiful mummies out there and anyone else who doesn't get a lot of time for yourselves in the morning. If you'd like to see how to get this look then please keep watching. Bye! So I'm going to set my timer. Also all the products that I use in this video will be linked below. So I'm starting off with my Smashbox Primer. This is going to help my foundation last a lot longer and go on smoother. Now taking your foundation brush, I'm going to apply my foundation all over my face. I actually like to match my foundation to my shoulders. I know that sounds really weird, but your neck is quite a lot lighter than your body. So if you're matching your foundation to your neck area, you're gonna find that your neck and face are one color, but then your body is a different color. Now going in with my Urban Decay Concealer. This is just going to cancel out any darkness under my eyes and help to brighten up that area. I do tend to skip all the highlighting and contouring on a daily basis. It just makes it a little bit easier. Then taking the same foundation brush that we use to apply our foundation, I'm just going to softly blend that out. Now going in with bronzer which I am using the NARS blush bronzer duo I'll link my last video below so that you can see where or how to contour your face it goes through step by steps on how to do it super easy also taking that down the sides of my nose I can't leave the house without a contoured nose don't ask me why Now on the apples of my cheeks, I am applying blush and just very softly blending that out. Feels so much more awake with blush. Don't mind my little hair fix up there. I'm now going to prime my eyes with Painterly Paint Pot. This helps with quite a few things, so it helps to cancel out any discoloration on your eyelids. You may have oily eyelids, so it helps with that. It's also the perfect base for your eyeshadow, so it brings out the true colour of your eyeshadow that you're using and it helps to blend a lot easier. So any creamy coloured eyeshadow that you have, preferably a matte eyeshadow not a shimmery one we're just going to go over the top of that and set that all in so today I'm only using one palette I'm actually only using two colors so this is the morphe 350 palette so I'm using a very pretty soft brown color you can use any brown any kind of color that you like you want to go for a matte one and we're just very gently applying that into the outer crease of the eye and then slowly blending it in And now taking that first brush that we applied the creamy eyeshadow with and that is just going to help softly blend. 
You just want to keep blending to avoid any harsh lines. So as you can see, I'm now just kind of going back and forth between those two brushes and then applying a little bit more eyeshadow and then softly blending it out until I get the result that I want. Now that that side's done, I'm going to go and do the exact same on the other eye. Now I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm just going to softly apply the same colour eyeshadow that I used in the crease of my eye underneath. Doing this can really help to open up your eyes and if you are self-conscious about anything under your eyes like discoloration or bags, this can just help to take away from that. Now for mascara, I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex. This is my all time favorite. So I'm just applying that to both of my eyes. I can't lie to you guys, I normally wear either a full face of makeup or absolutely no makeup. So I do feel kind of weird with no eyelashes on. So this is really funny, you know that awkward face that we pull when we're putting mascara on? Well this is just so hard to do without pulling that face. So yeah, this is kind of the best I could do. So for lips I'm using Model Rock Liquid Lipstick, these last all day long so it's awesome if you're in a hurry you can just apply this and then you're good to go. I'm going to fill in and define my eyebrows with my Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown. You can use any eyeshadow colour, so anything that is about one or two shades lighter than your hair, feel free to use that, it does the same thing. I'm now finishing off with my Becca highlight in Opal. This is one of my favorite highlighters. Using this on the highest point of my cheekbones, down the center of my nose and in the corners of my eyes.
So there we have it guys, a very simple and easy makeup, all done under 9 minutes. So that completes our look for today. I hope I helped at least one of you. If I did, I will be so happy. I will leave all the products that I used linked below. And yeah, practice makes perfect, so keep practicing. Bye guys. Children, so loud. Hang on.